Hello everyone, Ori here and welcome back to another team review series video and today I will review the Los Blancos Real Madrid. Before continuing, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like to this video because it will really help me to grow my channel. So let's continue. Uh, keep in mind that uh, Real Madrid are not the same team that they used to be from previous FIFAs uh, because as we know uh, they lost their main man Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, but they are still a very good team uh, because uh, their main players are still in this team uh, being on the defense and uh, midfield too they have uh, really strong wings uh, so they are a very dangerous team and a very fun team to use uh, so uh, the formation that we're going to use with this team is going to be the beautiful 4-3-3 uh, uh, attacking and uh, one of my favorite formation in this year and uh, with Real Madrid is gonna work in perfection and uh, going in goal uh, no doubt for me is gonna be Thibaut Courtois maybe in real life uh, you can have your doubts about going with Keylor Navas or Courtois but in FIFA just an absolute monster uh, top three goalkeeper in this game so I will go no doubt with him at your left back is going to be Marcelo uh, <laughs> nothing to talk about him just uh, a perfect left back for this game and uh, at center backs maybe the the two best center backs in this game being Ramos and Varane just absolute beasts uh, one of the the best defensive duo in in FIFA 19 I think and uh, going at your right back is going to be Dani Carvajal uh, moving up to the midfield uh, Casemiro and Modric will be your both CMs and uh, Isco will be your, your cam. Now I left uh, Tony Cross outside. Uh, as we know, the guy is incredible in real life, uh, just an absolute magician. But as we know in FIFA, other stats are important, such as uh, pace and, and physical and he doesn't possess any of them so that's why I left him outside of the main 11. Now going to the top three up front is going to be Vinicius Jr at your left wing position, Karim Benzema your striker and Gareth Bale being your right wing. Now for me uh, this is the main 11 there's no uh, best possible players in this Real Madrid team in my opinion so that's why I went with them uh, going to your substitutes uh, it's going to uh, your main substitutes here is going to be uh, Nacho Fernandez if you if you will get a red card or something if you really need a defender but uh, mainly it will be Vasquez substituting uh, one of your wingers if they get tired and it will be Mariano uh, substituting Karim Benzema after minute 65 or 70 and maybe Tony Cross uh, substituting one of your your midfielders if they really get tired uh, we're gonna move up Asensio here um, who will play as who can substitute, substitute one of your, your wingers or even playing that uh, camp position if Isco will get tired uh, so moving up uh, to the tactics that we're gonna use with this formation is going to be uh, balance width is going to be five and depth would be five and uh, the offensive side is gonna be balanced to with uh, width five and players in the box five and corners three and uh, free kicks three now the reason I do this is because with a 4-3-3 attack uh, being such an attacking formation I like to keep things balanced uh, that's why I'm going uh, with the balanced custom tactics because uh, you need your team to move as one uh, so they will try to go as much forward as they can but at the same time turn back and defend uh, so that you don't uh, get countered or get scored easily. Uh, Going at uh, player instructions is going to be uh, stay back uh, for uh, both of your full backs, stay back for both of them. Uh, now the reason uh, I do this is because if you just go to balanced or join the attack, believe me, they just gonna make stupid run forwards and you don't want that uh, with this formation 
uh, you just want your, your your defensive life to stay as back as possible uh, to try to prevent the counter attacks because uh, with this formation these uh, main uh, six players here uh, will be enough to score all the goals that you need uh, moving up to the to your CMs or CDMs uh, the, the instructions for them are going to be stay back while attacking and uh, cover center stay back while attacking at cover center you just need them to create the link between defenders and attackers and uh, with these custom tactics they're just gonna do it perfectly they will uh, help you uh, build up your, your play but uh, they will help defensively too now going to your camp is going to be uh, stay forward and uh, no, ju just stay forward. You just need him there as a main option to create the counter attacks. Going at your right wings uh, to uh, to your left wing and right wing, uh, the instructions are gonna be cut inside, cut inside, and uh, get in behind uh, for both of them. Cut inside and get in behind. Now, uh, the reason I do this is because uh, if you just uh, put these instructions at them, uh, believe me, uh, for example, if you have the ball at the right side, uh, if you have it with Bale, for example, Vinicius Jr. will cut uh, inside and will play almost as a striker in, uh, near Karim Benzema and uh, you will have uh, better chances of scoring goals. But uh, if you leave it to to just uh, balance or stay wide, he will not be uh, in that uh, uh, in that area to, 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 to score more goals for you. So uh, these are the the best instructions I think you can give to your to your wings. And going to the striker, we're gonna get we're gonna do get him behind and uh, stay forward for him. Uh, at rolls, uh, you can put uh, whichever you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, this is the the best possible eleven formation and custom tactics uh, for this Real Madrid team. Uh, now we'll, I will go to to a match and uh, try to show you uh, how this works uh, and how the team feels and uh, how we can create our chances to, to score goals. Let's go!